Ananya hardly ever steps out of his home these days. In recent months, the 25-year-old blogger has received several death threats, all for denouncing religious extremism on social networks. This is the latest threat I received, and this is what it says. If you want to save your head, come back to God. This is the last warning. And when I read this post, I panicked. I freaked out. But I decided not to tell my family about all this. Intimidation doled out by radical Islamists. Ananya doesn't take these threats lightly. In 2003, his father, Humayun Azad, now a deceased famous writer, was attacked with a machete in the street. Since the beginning of this year alone, three bloggers have been murdered in Bangladesh. After the killings, I was afraid, so I stopped writing for a while. But I figured I should continue to write, because maybe I will be the next victim. And if I do not talk now, act now, then nobody else will either, and fundamentalists will eventually dominate the country. Ananta Bijoy Das, Washikur Rahman, Avijit Roy. Three atheist bloggers killed in less than four months. Avijit Roy had returned to Bangladesh after a three-year exile when he was brutally murdered on the street, here in the capital city of Dhaka. His killers remain unidentified and are still at large, but Avijit's father has no doubt about their identity. These groups are basically fundamentalist and they think a non-believer or atheist is an enemy to Allah or Prophet and according to their training they have no right to exist in the world so if chance comes physical living at them. 90% of the country's population is Muslim, but everyone's governed by a secular constitution. Still, fundamentalist Islamic groups continue to thrive. One of them is Hefasat-e-Islam, which has 25,000 madrasas across the country. Its leaders demand the death penalty for anyone criticizing Islam. We would like to make an Islamic committee that will suggest new laws to the government this committee will follow the Sharia law, which clearly states that those who insult Islam or any other religion should be given the highest form of punishment. Faced with weakening political authority, the Islamist movement seeks to assert itself through all means, including violence. Experts say they feel threatened by the proliferation of activists and campaigners who promote free speech. The deaths of these bloggers may have shocked civil society, yet few have spoken out, fearful of the consequences. Beyond seeking justice for these murders, the secular government in power has insisted it will fight relentlessly to counter the fundamentalist Islamic threat in Bangladesh.